good morning i am on my way to walgreens because when i went to sit down to pee this morning i thought i was ready to lift off into motherfucking outer space and i need some azo i know uti when i feel one i'm pretty sure it's uti the, the joys of being a woman um too much information too bad <laughs> No, but seriously, I'm like suffering this morning. I was going to go to urgent care, but then I thought, you know what? I probably should because you're supposed to take, you know, cultures and all that stuff that they do. But I feel like I know my body well enough. I know what it is. And I had some, I have some antibiotics that I actually didn't need to use from something last time. And so I'm just going to take take them and just get ahead of it because I really don't want to go to the doctor and I just know when you know you know when you've had a million you know you know what I mean ah uh, the misery anyway let's get that right out of the way right now I also need to get some spray tan uh because I noticed I was like all ready to spray tan the last time and as I was doing it, I realized, oh fuck, like I don't even know if I have enough to do my, myself, like after I was like two legs in, right? I'm two legs deep in the spray tan. The bottle ran out, I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> what do I do? So then I found a different spray tan for the rest of my body, but there was hardly enough to do that. Then I'm like, okay, I think I did it, like whatever. And it's so dark in my room, and you know what I mean? And I was in the bathroom, but it's still, my bathroom is black, it's dark even with the lights and stuff. So I was like, oh yeah, I look great. Like this is the, oh, thank God we did it. I looked at my videos, we filmed that night for OnlyFans and half of my leg and butt cheek were white. <laughs> and the rest was spray tan. I was like, oh my God, the footage was too good to not use. I was like, fuck it. This is what happens when you are the whole, when you're the glam squad, when you're the hairdresser, when you're the film, an editor and everything just whatever it's life baby it's life so i need to get some spray tan and my husband's been spray tanning too a lot and i think that's the reason for my uti i'm just so sensitive so <laughs> anyway you guys thank you so much if you are here from tiktok thank you thank you thank you thank you for all of your positivity i hit 1.1 million on that video yesterday I was so humbled and blessed it was at 9.99 like I was like oh, oh I was so excited like a kid on Christmas and when I hit one mil I was like like through the roof because I never really thought anybody would enjoy my content and of course there's a lot of hate messages on there calling me a donkey and whatever else which is hilarious I love it just whatever it's just great I I have a pretty I can let things roll off my back. Sometimes I can't, as you've seen in that video of me calling out somebody who was um, wishing physical abuse on me. That kind of shit's not cool, but other dumb stuff, it's like whatever. And then to watch a lot of you guys go on there and just like totally turn them around for their negativity just made me so happy thank you so much for all your support and love i love it thank you if you're watching this video just as a youtube follower i know i know my channel is like hardly even existent but i do this for my anxiety and it's a distraction and i just thank you so much if you're here and you actually like my content <laughs> and thank you if you're here watching my content hating me like i appreciate that you're watching it all so hopefully I can change your mind eventually if I can I can't you know but we can't please everybody can we so yes I'm going to wait a spray tan I got and I need to get some azo for this terrible uh, being a woman is so hard and then I'm going to dye my hair today myself which is never any fun it's so much work it's so much work to keep up with yourself Oh, another thing I wanted to touch on very briefly. So, in my last video, I had some comments. I deleted them, very honestly. I deleted them because they were just dumb. And But I wanted to clear something up, just in case there's any confusion. I feel like, I feel like because I, I don't know who my audience is, 
I sometimes need to clarify certain things because maybe you only watched one video or um, and you don't really know who I am, you know, you obviously don't know me. Well, maybe you do, I don't know. But in my last video where I talked about what I spent last year on my body, I got some comments about flexing or something. And I just honestly, the only reason I made that video was because my friends, my other model friends on Facebook had asked what I had done. And I am very forthcoming with what I do. I don't, I don't care. I don't feel insecure at all about getting anything done. I've, I feel like what I do is pretty common and normal and it's my decision. So it doesn't really matter what people think about it, but, but people did ask and I wanted to be honest. So it's not a flex. I know it comes across that way, but it's really genuinely that people have asked me a lot of people have asked me I just thought hey I'll just make a video well I thought of it because I had all that stuff done you know a few days ago or whatever also on that note I think it is very brave of a woman with all the insecurities and standards and you know all that stuff out there that makes girls feel insecure and shitty if a woman comes out and says something about what she has done that makes her very vulnerable because a lot of people are really insecure and I totally get that. I am insecure in other ways too, but if, I think if someone is sharing what they do and it makes them vulnerable, I think it's really shitty of you to judge them because they were trying to be honest. So when has being honest become such a bad thing? You know what I mean? So I should just say, no, I just, I don't know. My lips just, I don't know. I think I'm bigger and I blessed hashtag blessed. No, I'm sorry. No, I get my lips done. Okay. My bottom lip, I get a little here. It is bigger, but it eats this fucking thing. When I smile, I don't even know what my lips look like. Well, actually that's not true. I, I see some old Facebook memories. My lips weren't bad. They just, they're not the way I personally want them. So get the fuck off my asshole. Okay. Leave me alone. Um, then the other comment was something about, oh, it's a good thing you don't have a big following. First of all, I don't care. Like, who are you, Jimmy? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and second of all, then he wrote something about, in my, in my video of me, it's also on TikTok. It's the video where that guy was using those ropes and swinging the metal. And I was pissed because there's kids and shit in the crosswalk and you can fucking nick my car. What is Walmart going to pay for it? You know what I mean? Like how much of a big pain in the ass is that going to be? Don't do dumb shit. I fucking don't understand why people don't get it. Anyway, I, in the comments or in my video, I said the act of doing that, the act, 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 act of doing that was retarded. Poor choice of words, possibly. I did not call him retarded. In the video, what is this guy doing? <sighs> please, dear Jesus, please. Please let people have a brain today. No? Okay. Prayers were not answered this morning. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, I want you guys to know that I am never, ever, ever going to call somebody that. Ever. I don't call anybody that. I used to work for the Department of Health and Human Services. I'm sorry, I'm very distracted by what's going on in front of me. Why does he need to hold that sign if the lights are working? I don't get it. Oh. Low budget operation here in Green Bay. Um, I would, I would never call somebody that I used to work for the department of health and human services with, um, the developmentally disabled. My grandma used to take care of people with down syndrome in her home. Best experience of my life. Best, best, best experience of my life. And I was very thankful for it. I loved it. It was amazing. The people that she took care of in her home full time, they just lived with her were family we went on vacations together. We cooked dinner. They, they were my family. Okay. They were my family. They were my family. They were my family. Sadly, a couple of them had passed away. And then my grandma would, you know, welcome someone else into her home. 
and that was back when Wisconsin used to be cool with respite care. It's so it's so different now. I would do it now. I always thought that that's what I would do someday because I was so inspired by my grandmother. But um, Wisconsin's just changed so much, you know. So it's too bad. But um, I ended up doing that. I had so my son when I was pregnant with my son. I was 19 years old. I moved out. I was on my own, doing my own thing, taking care of business. My I did respite care on the weekends and I loved it and I would never ever in a million years call somebody that in my video I made because that's that's hurtful that's wrong that's shitty now calling someone a bitch or a cunt or something like that which the c word is bad I don't know why I say it it's so it's that's a terrible word I hate that word it's gross but sometimes the word vomit bleh, you know what I'm saying like we all have it that's different and that's not right either but I would never make fun of somebody for being developmentally slow, ever. So I apologize if it came off that way. But I'm tired of people being so sensitive. If I said the act of doing it was stupid, you wouldn't have even batted an eyelash. Okay, I'm not bashing the man. As a whole, I'm bashing the act of what he did. So let's clear that up. I'm sorry if it came across that way. Not my intention. I truly apologize for that. Would never do that. That's not who I am. Um, so that's, that's it. I deleted the comments because, you know, I just don't need to deal with, with the negativity. So I thought I'd just make a video and say those few words. Um, there's something else I was going to say. Oh, also it kind of made me happy to have some hate comments because that's when people are like, you obviously watched the whole video if you got to that point. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then someone else wrote something like, oh, I'm here from TikTok. Didn't think it could get any worse. But my TikTok is thriving. So I hate little dick syndrome. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to run in here.